This is the review for Math 8 for Chapter 3, Quiz 2 Review. This is on Sections 3-8 through 3-11. If you're following along on the in-class review sheet, there are actually more problems on the sheet that we're going to do than are actually on your quiz. All right, the three questions on the back of the page um, at the top are not going to be on your quiz. You're just going to have one Y equals to Y equals, one elimination method, one multiplying, then elimination method, not the two like are on the sheet. Those are there just for extra practice. So again, you're going to have to solve the following systems of equations algebraically. You have to show all your work. You have to show all the steps. You have to check your answers. All right. So these are not easy. We need to make sure that we're following along. Uh, the y equals to y equals method. Um, when you have the y equals to y equals method, all that you're going to do is set the two equations equal to each other. You know that this equals y and that this equals y. So we're just going to take what's inside those two blue boxes and set them equal to each other. 4x plus 3 equals 2x plus 11. Just going to take, since they're both set equal to y, we can set them equal to each other. Now you just have a variables on both sides equation. I always like to work with the smaller of the two letters first. We need to get all the letters on the one side of the equal sign by adding if it's a negative letter or subtracting if it's a positive letter. I like working with the smaller of the two letters first. You'll work with less negatives that way. So I'm going to do minus 2x and minus 2x. Whatever you do to one side of the equal sign, you have to do to the other. 4x minus 2x is just 2x. Bring down your plus three, bring down your equal sign, bring down your positive 11. Now you just have a two-step equation. Always in a two-step equation, get rid of the plus whatever or minus whatever first. So I'm going to get rid of that plus three by doing minus three and minus three. So I have 2x equals eight. Now it's just a one-step equation, divide by two, divide by two, and we get x equals four. Now you have your choice. Now that we know that x equals four, we can take and sub that into here or here for X. It does not matter which one you sub it into, all right? I, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm gonna choose the first one. So I'm gonna sub it into Y equals four X plus three. So I'm taking this and subbing it into here for X. So instead of four times X, I have four times four plus three. So that is 16 plus three, 16 plus three is 19. You can check all of your answers, all right, to make sure that you get them right. You're checking the point here, you're checking four comma 19, X being four and Y being 19. I'm going to rewrite my two equations. So Y equals four X plus three and Y equals two X plus 11. All that I'm going to do to check them is just to sub them in. So instead of y equals, I have 19 equals. Instead of four times x, I have four times four plus three. Four times four is 16. 16 plus three is 19. So you get 19 equals 19, it checks. Over here, I have 19 equals two times four plus 11. Two times four is eight. 8 plus 11 does give us 19, so 19 equals 19, it checks. Remember, both of these need to check for it to be a correct answer. If only one of them checks, it is not correct. You did something wrong. If neither of them check, you did something wrong. So my two answers are 4 and 19. If you're following along on the paper, flip it over to the back. This is another y equals to y equals equation. So I'm going to take these two things and set them equal to each other. So I'm going to have the equation 3x minus 21 equals x minus 9. There's really a 1 in front of that x. So I like working with the smaller of the two letters first. So minus 1x and minus 1x. Those 1x's cancel out. 2x minus 21, be careful. You're bringing down a negative 9 here. This is a two-step equation, so get rid of your plus whatever or minus whatever. So I'm going to get rid of my minus 21 by doing plus 21 and plus 21. So now I have 2x equals 12, divide by 2, divide by 2, and I get x equals 6. 
Now that I have one of my answers, I can take that answer and sub it into here or here. So I think that second equation is a little bit easier. So instead of y equals x minus nine, I have y equals six minus nine. Six minus nine is negative three. There's my two answers. I have x equals six and y equals negative three. So now I can do my check. I'm checking six and I'm checking negative three. I'm going to sub those numbers into my two original equations. When I go to sub them in, I'm subbing in my both my x and my y. So instead of y equals, I have negative 3 equals 3 times 6 minus 21. 3 times 6 is 18. So I have 18 minus 21. 18 minus 21 is negative 3. So negative 3 equals negative 3. It checks. I have negative 3 equals instead of y equals 6 minus 9. 6 minus 9 is negative 3. So negative 3 equals negative 3. It checks. Again, you're only going to have one of these on your quiz. We did two examples right now. The next type of question is the elimination method. So now I'm back to the front of the paper. In the elimination method, you're going to have opposite letters already. So you're going to have like a 5x and a negative 5x or a 3y and a negative 3y. And when you have your opposites already, like we do here with the 2y and the negative 2y, all that I need to do to solve the problem is just add going down. When I add going down, those y's cancel out. There's really a 1 in front of the x. So 1x plus 5x is 6x. Negative 19 plus 1 is negative 18. So all I did was add going down. Solve that one-step equation. So divide by 6, divide by 6, and you get x equals negative 3. Now that I know that x equals negative 3, now I have my choice. I can sub it into here or here. I think that the eh, I think that the bottom equation might be a little bit easier actually on this one. Um, so I'm going to sub it into 5x plus 2y equals 1. It doesn't matter which one you sub it into. I chose this one because it had all positive numbers and no subtracting signs. Uh, so, but you can sub it into the other one if you want. So now I'm going to sub it in. Uh, 5 times negative 3 is negative 15, plus 2y equals 1. This is just a two-step equation. So add 15, add 15. 2y equals 16, divide by 2, divide by 2, and we get y equals 8. So my final answer is x equals 3 and y equals 8. That's what I'm going to check, negative 3 and positive 8. I'm going to rewrite my two equations. So x minus 2y equals negative 19. And I'm going to have 5x plus 2y equals 1. Now that I have my two equations, I'm going to sub in both my x and my y. So I'm going to have negative 3 minus 2 times 8 equals negative 19. Negative 2 times 8 is negative 16. So 3 minus 16 is negative 19. So negative 19 equals negative 19, it checks. Five times negative three plus two times eight. This is negative 15. Plus 16 is one, so one equals one and it checks. Both of them have to check so that you know that your answer is correct. And this was, I actually made a mistake right here, negative 3 minus 16 is negative 19. Um, if you flip it over to the back, it's another elimination question. Notice that you have opposites here already. When you have opposites here already, all that you have to do is add going down because that negative 24y and the positive 24y cancel each other out. 14 plus negative 15 is negative 1x. Negative 44 plus 42 is negative 2. Divide by negative 1, divide by negative 1, and you get that x equals 2. Now that you have one of your answers, now you can take that answer and you can sub it in for x or sub it in for x. Um, I like the top equation. I think it might be a little bit easier. So I'm going to sub it into the top equation. 
14 times 2 minus 24 times y equals negative 44. So I'm going to have 28 minus 24y equals negative 44 minus 28 minus 28. So negative 24y equals negative 72. Divide by negative 24. And we get an answer of y equals 3. Um, I ran out of room to do my check over to the side, so I'm just going to do it down here. Um, we are checking. Um, we are checking 2 and 3. So x equals 2 and y equals 3. So I'm just going to rewrite the original equation. And these ones are sort of long equations anyway. And now I'm going to sub in my answers of 2 and 3. So 14 times 2 minus 24 times 3 equals negative 44. So 28 minus 72 um, equals negative 44. Negative 44 equals negative 44. It checks. Negative 15 times 2 is negative 30 plus 24 times 3, which is plus 72, equals 42. Negative 30 plus 72 does equal 42, so 42 equals 42, it checks. Again, we did two of these. You're just going to have to do one of them on your quiz. Take a look at the next one. Now, this next one, you have one extra step. It's all the stuff that we just did on the previous problem, except you're not going to have the opposites there. What we need to do here is we need to multiply one equation to create opposites, all right? We have a 1x here, all right? The opposite of 1x is, or the opposite of 2x is negative 2x. To get a negative 2x there, I need to multiply that whole entire equation to get my negative 2x. I need to distribute, distribute, distribute. I didn't touch that top equation, so I'm just going to rewrite it. But now on this bottom one, when I multiply by negative 2, I'm going to have negative 2x. Now be careful here. Negative 2 times negative 1 is a positive 2y, and that equals negative 8. Now I have my opposites, all right? I have my opposites right here. Now it's exactly like the previous questions that we just did. All right, so now I want to add going down. When I add going down, those cancel out. So I have 5y equals 5. Um, divide by 5, divide by 5. And we get y equals 1. Now that I have an answer of y equals 1, now I want to sub it into there or there. Um, whichever one you think looks easier. Um, I think the second equation actually looks easier. We had x minus y equals 4. We're going to take this 1 and we're going to sub it in for the y. So I'm going to have x minus 1 equals 4. It's just a one-step equation. And we get x equals 5. All right, there's my two answers. So now I'm ready to do my check. We are going to check 5 and 1. So rewrite my two original equations. And sub in my answers. 2 times 5 plus 3 times 1 equals 13. Uh, this would be 10 plus 3 equals 13. 13 equals 13. It checks. And then over here, I would have instead of x minus y, I would have 5 minus 1 equals 4. 4 equals 4. It checks. Both of them check. So you know your answer is correct. Let's do another one. We need to multiply to create our own opposites. There's really a 1 in front of that x. Look at the letter above it. That's a negative 5. The opposite of negative 5 is positive 5. So I want to multiply that whole entire bottom equation by five, distribute, distribute, distribute. I didn't touch that top equation, so all that I'm going to do is rewrite it. In the bottom equation, five times one X is five X, five times two Y is 10 Y, five times 10 is 50. 
Now I have my opposites. Notice that I have my five and my negative five X. So now it's just like the previous questions where you can add going down because now you have your opposites. Those five X's cancel out. So I have 15 Y equals 60. Divide by 15, divide by 15, and you get Y equals four. Now that you have Y equals four, now I can take this four and I can sub it into here or here. Doesn't matter which equation you sub it into, I think the second one looks easier. So X plus two times four instead of two times Y equals 10. So X plus eight equals 10 minus eight minus eight and you get X equals two. So I'm going to check my answer of X equals two and Y equals four. I'm gonna rewrite my two original equations. That's what I'm subbing it into. So when I go to sub them in to do my checks, I'm going to have negative five times two plus five times four equals 10. So I'm going to have negative 10 plus 20 equals 10. Uh, this would be a positive 10. So 10 equals 10, it checks. And I would over here, I would have two plus two times four equals 10. So I would have two plus eight equals 10. 10 equals 10, and that one checks as well. Again, you're only going to have one of these questions on your quiz. We just did two of them. You're also going to have one word problem. Matt and Ming are selling fruit for a school fundraiser. Matt sold one small box of oranges and 14 large for a total of $189. Ming sold nine small boxes and 11 large uh, for a total of 206, find the cost of one small and one large. So my two letters that I have are small and large. So I'm going to have S and L. Be very careful not to use a lowercase L because it looks like a one. So I need to set up my equations first. One small box, so one S plus 14 large, 14 L equals 189. For Ming, he sold nine small, so nine S and 11 large, 11 L for a total of 206. So when I take a look at my two equations, I notice that I don't have opposites. I need opposites. So the opposite of nine S is negative nine S. So I need to distribute, distribute, distribute that top equation with a negative nine so that I could create my opposites. So now I have negative 9s minus 126l when I distribute equals negative 1,701. I didn't touch that bottom equation, so I'm just going to rewrite it. Now that I have my opposites, all right, now I have my opposites right here, 9s and negative 9s. Now that I have my opposites, all I want to do is add going down and those s's cancel out. Negative 126 plus 11 is negative 115L. Negative 1,701 plus 206 is negative 1,495. Divide by negative 115, divide by negative 115, and you get that L equals 13. So a large box costs $13. Now that I have my L equals 13, I can take that and sub it into here or here. Um, I think the top equation with the one looks easier. So that's what I'm going to sub it into. So I have one S plus instead of 14 L, I have 14 times 13 equals 189. 14 times 13 is 182. So I have one S plus 182 equals 189. Solve that two-step equation. So minus 182 minus 182. So one S equals seven, divide by ones, and you get S equals seven. You could do a check if you wanted to by subbing in your S and your L. We're not going to do that just to save a little bit of time. So going back to the other two questions that you're going to have, you're gonna to have to do some checks and see if it is a solution or not. Remember that it has to check 
in both solutions, all right? If it checks in both, then it's going to be a yes. If it only checks in zero uh, equations or one equation, that's when it's going to be a no. So you have to take your points, X and Y, and sub them in. So subbing it in, two times X, two times three, minus six equals zero. This is just like doing the checks in all the other problems. So this is six minus six equals zero, zero equals zero, it checks. We don't know our final answer yet. It checked in one of them, but if it checks in the second one, then it's gonna be a yes. If it doesn't, then it's gonna be a no. So three plus three times six equals 21. Uh, three times six is 18. So I have 21 equals 21, it checked. It checked in both equations. So therefore my final answer is yes. Yes, it is a solution if it checks in both equations. In question number nine, the last question, all points are written X comma Y. So negative two times negative one plus two times negative four equals negative six. This would be a positive two. Uh, this would be minus eight equals negative six. So if two minus eight is negative six. Negative six equals negative six. It checks. We don't know if our answer is yes or no yet. X plus Y, negative one plus negative four equals negative three. Well, unfortunately, negative one plus negative four is negative five, not negative three. This doesn't check right here because it doesn't check. Therefore, your final answer is no. That's what your quiz looks like.